Hey guys, I'm back. I've been uncovering a lot with Gematria. Um, I was the first caller on uh, last night's uh, Gematria effect, uh, starting about uh, 12.46 uh, into the uh, recording that you can download uh, right now, I think for about a week or 10 days, I forget what. Um, but I've talked more about uh, breaking words into syllables and looking at the geometry of their syllables and <clears throat> these how these words are put together is just super amazing um, let me show you what we're talking about here all right so I don't I don't know if there's already a term for this or not but I'm calling this syllabic gematria observing the assembly of words through the lens of gematria and the first word that I started with was authority uh, Zach Hubbard really talks about this word a lot and with other words that ultimately end reduced down to a 47 or a 74 numerology um, let's see there was uh, do I have Euclid's 47th problem up here no I don't but we'll find it Euclid's 47th Okay. Euclid's 47th problem or proclamation as it's often referred to is basically the Pythagorean theorem. The a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is a three, four, five triangle and that's how you can get a 90 degree and that's how you can start laying out your foundation for a structure um, and then they use this uh, with some sticks and some strings and apparently uh, when you align it with the stars that's all you need to create a right angle foundation um, so this being the foundation or uh, I mean Foundations are important for anything, and the reason that I'm starting with the word authority is because this is really the foundation for what we're talking about, for reclaiming your power and for becoming your own author of your own perception. When I break this word out here, authority and a, I guess there'd really be another dash in there um, this is just a lowercase I so when I break this out the first syllable is the abbreviation for gold the chemical abbreviation for gold we can go over here and take a look at that AU, gold. It's the 79th element. Um, so authority is the combination of AU, Thor, and Itty. I just looked at ITY as the complete suffix, even though it was, uh, even though it's two syllables. So gold is 22. You know, Thor, I mean, that's the god of thunder. Um, uh, here we go. Let's pop back there. I'll bring this tab up here. The Norse god of thunder. Um, Here we go. I am the god Thor. I am the 
I am the war god. I am the thunder. There's a really interesting sentence. Ah, oh, here we go. Thor, they say, presides over the air. He governs the thunder and lightning. Governs means to control. So Thor controls the thunder and lightning, the winds and rains, fair weather and crops. If plague and famine threaten, a libation is poured to the idol Thor. This temple was replaced by a Christian church in eight or in 1080. You know, very, very interesting number right there. And of course the 11th century, interesting. Anyways, Thor, the most powerful god uh, of the Norse, the god that controls the air, the thunder, the lightning, the winds and rains. And, you know, today is October 6, 2016, and, and there's a hurricane, Hurricane Matthew, that's uh, that's heading right up the coast and uh, of Florida getting ready to, to make landfall sometime today today's date has numerology of 106 and 106 well let's let's find another tab to bring up here All right, 106. 106 is a number of prophecy. 106 has some other interesting ideas associated with it. Yeah, did, I, did I write those down or not? <clears throat> okay. So we're just going to come down here to this English section. All right, look. Prophecy. Prophecy is 106. Fox News, Divine Plan, Nuclear Bomb. Columbus, Heil Hitler. Destroy. Alphabet Key, that's interesting. That's kind of what Gematria is. And, you know, I've been down enough rabbit holes. Uh, to know that there's a distinct possibility that chemtrails and the harp system are being used to control the weather. Um, and I've seen People claiming to be meteorologists, looking at uh, a lot of the radar footage uh, of some of these storms, and they have, they claim to have correlated uh, <clears throat> certain visible observations with being able to steer a storm, things that are not normal, things that are, are, are not a natural process. Um, you know, when, when you pull up Hurricane Matthew, well, Hurricane Matthew, if I can get my mouse to work properly. We're kind of taxing my computer a little bit here. It's recording and, uh, and doing normal things. It's kind of a little bit slow. So we'll copy that. And let's go over here. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. All right, and we're going to paste. 
and look at that hurricane Matthew equals 187 so let's open up a new tab and we're gonna go to the California penal code 187 187. Murder is the unlawful killing of a human being or a fetus with malice aforethought. And how interesting is it that Hurricane Matthew has an English ordinal gematria of 187 and that it's scheduled to make landfall in Florida on a date with 106 numerology or prophecy. Uh, you know, the first few times I watched Zach Hubbard, I thought he I thought he might be crazy, for sure. But I saw that what he was doing was, with his words, painting a doorway through which he says that he's made some observations. I can walk up to that doorway and look through it. And I'm validating his observations. I'm kind of blown away. So let's go back here. So 22, so Thor, T-H-O-R, that comes out to 61. And then the I-T-Y, that reduces down to nine. So you get 22, 61, nine, or 22, seven, nine. The nine, numerologically speaking, it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have an impact on on the rest of the words. So this whole suffix i t y it, it kind of leaves the flavor, numerologically speaking, of what it was attached to. And let me show you just how that works. Here we go. So I noticed that ITY is 9 plus 20 plus 25 or 54. That reduces down to 9. Now how interesting that another common suffix, ED, is 5 plus 4 or 54 or 9. It, it's ED has a flavor of making it past tense. You know, it already happened. ITY kind of changes the whole thing into <clears throat> uh, an entity that has the quality of that root word. So authority is an entity of authorship. But look what happens when you, when you have a, a nine and you tack it next to a one. Well, one plus nine equals 10, one plus zero equals one. So it's it's like, it's like that nine didn't matter. Well, two plus nine is 11, one plus one is two. The nine didn't matter. You know, same with the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight. The only, the only one it doesn't do that with is a zero. The, the zero just leaves it a nine. So the nine is like a, it's, a, it's like a shapeshifter, or a, it just dissolves. And, and I find it very interesting that there's some common suffixes that, that are nines. Um, so back here, you know, pi, 227, 22 divided by seven is pi, approximation of pi. 
3.14 and when you take the gematria of the written words 22 divided by 7 in English ordinal it equals 3.14 22 divided by 7 equals 3.14285. You know, it's an approximation of pi. I mean, there's some intentionality into the structure of our language that is far beyond anything that I ever imagined. And I don't know what that says about... The, the force that put that all together, the force, the consciousness, the motivation. I, I'm blown away though. Let's go back to these slides here. Thor, that has a gematria of 61. Also shares a gematria with God. And, and I learned from my call last night with Zach Hubbard, the miracle, and uh, I think I think maybe it was church, also shared 61. Zach often talks about, let's see, where is it? Here we go. I'll just let him, I'll just let him tell you here. If you're a black man and you're in Freemasonry, you're a sellout to your race. And I know most of you don't realize that, but you are. And that's why so many of your lodges are coded with the number 59. Negro 59, Slave 59, Blues 59, Motown came out in 59, Belgian Congo equals 59. They says AIDS discovered in 59 in the Belgian Congo. All of you black men that think you're part of a black community in Prince Hall Freemasonry, no, you're owned and operated by the synagogue of Satan, and they're using you, abusing you. People of all races selling out humanity. It all comes out to greed and selfishness. Until next time, true seeker. One more thing. All right. So he talks about a lot of 59. 59s being associated with, uh, with black men. Now, I noticed that there's a suffix er and this er the e is 5 the r is 18 or 59 and when i'm looking at the word here which i don't know i've still got uh I've still got, what, some self-sensors inside me that don't even want to say it. I, I just don't like the vibration of this word. Um, but this, you know, most hateful word for black people, as, as Zach Hubbard has come to say, it starts off with N-I, which is a 14 and a 9, which is a 5-9. And this word ends with a 5-9. So it's basically 59, 77, 59, the GG. We've seen how important Gs are to Freemasonry. It's on their little logo in the middle of their compass and square. And uh, <laughs> I mean, we're down the rabbit hole here, guys. So here's some other words that share 59 gematria. Kill, ink, kind of like coloring, con, OFC, the abbreviation for officer is 59. I'm going to start looking for, you know, any, Any little news briefings or whatever that uh, refer to a black officer with the uh, OFC designation. Sheol, that's uh, this word here 
is interesting when you look at, uh, I believe it's the book of Enoch, and they're talking about the creation of earth and this whole system that earth is, the Sheol is the underworld, um, Negro slave. Elenin, that comet that was extinction level event Nibiru is near or whatever that was, there was a whole lot of fear that was woven into Elenin. Eminem, isn't he a white guy though? But but he's like a rapper. Uh, crow, crows are black. Accident, like if you're gonna kill a Negro, it's gonna happen in an accident or I mean, I'm pretty blown away that these words, Aryan, tobacco, Mohammed, blues, the phrase, help me, Taliban, buried, Sudan, another place for people uh, that has people of color, Koran, the term Obamacare, this scares me right there. Like, I wonder, I wonder what kind of hidden assault might be behind Obamacare with the label of 59 Gematria. The word logical, the word lemon to describe something substandard. Cruel, scream, liberal, fairy, braille, like blind. Moral, they think this is moral. You know, this this word here, spear, that, uh, that reminded me of another derogatory term for black people. And, and I broke it down and I was pretty blown away with what I found here. The term is spear chucker used in a derogatory fashion. The word spear comes out to 59. We know that the ER suffix also comes out to 59 or 59. And what's remaining is 33. I mean, this pattern is everywhere, guys. So you can see that there's a continuity of numerology through certain suffixes that end in nine. It, it just doesn't change it when, when it's reduced out, when it's reduced out, I should say. Um, this was also interesting. Um, you take the vowels. You know, it's sometimes why, so that's that's why I included that here. But but when you when you just sum up the A E I O U and then reduce it out like this in this fashion, uh, it came out to thirty three. Add the one and the five is six. And then we're going to reduce the uh, the O down to a six. We're going to reduce the uh, the U down to a three. The six and the six add together to get twelve. That's a three. And then you're left with the uh, with the nine here, which doesn't change it numerologically speaking. So I just thought that that was pretty amazing that when you take the vowels, you can find the thirty-three in there. That's where I'm at right now. I've got some other work to do. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Hurricane Matthew a little bit, and then I've got some, I've got some literature from a a new pharmaceutical. Well, it's not a it's not a pharmaceutical company. It's a it's a prescription service plan, you know, for like mail order and you know insurance and whatnot. And 
and, and I was pretty blown away. The, the name on it uh, has a gematria at 444. And uh, if you watched uh, Zach's videos, that, that just has a lot of interesting, uh, that's a continuation of an interesting pattern. Um, so, I don't know where this is going. I'm just going to turn over one leaf at a time and tell you what I'm finding. Um, but I really feel like there's a whole lot in here. So, <laughs> have a great day. Bye-bye.